we've got some pests yeah, here. Yeah, we've been surrounded. Can you tell us about them? What are the differences between them? Well, I'll just go through the mustelids. This is what people call the mustelids family. Okay. This is the, the smallest one is the, is the weasel. As you can see, it's very, it's very tiny. small. It's tiny. Yeah. Yeah. It can still, still do a, a, a lot of damage, but a very small animal. And they are, um, you know, reasonably, they're, they're distributed throughout New Zealand, but you don't see them very often. There's not, no. not lots and lots of those around. And but they're a carnivore? Carnivore, yep. And, um, but this, this is the danger one, this one here, the stoat. The stoat, stoat you see he's got a little black tip on the end of his tail. Yep. It's very distinctive. Look at the size, he's much bigger than a weasel. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but this animal here is just a born hunter, absolute born hunter. Okay. They'll hunt just for the pleasure. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They, they just um, and they'll live anywhere, anywhere in the country. So uh, they're e in native bush and gardens. Mm, mm. Anywhere. Yeah, anywhere, anywhere okay. in New Zealand, and they're equally at hunt in, in wet as in dry, right. um, up trees, in, in holes. Yeah. yeah. And these guys can swim. They can swim, you know, kilometres across yeah. a lake. Okay. They, they're just, just amazing, and they can climb up. Anything, they, yeah, they're just, yeah. they're just the ultimate predator, really. So they are the ones that do a lot of damage to the yeah. bird life. Yeah, they're, they're one of the main damages to the bird life. These and rats, rats are yeah. quite damaging to bird life too. So uh, yeah, so the stoats are the, the one that we're doing a lot of work with and targeting at the moment. Right. And so it's been a focus of a lot of our work. Yeah. And the ferret, the ferret is more of an open rangeland okay. creature. Okay. And they're really quite yeah, big. Yeah, they, they are quite big. Yeah. And a lot of these were um, farmed for fur. Right. Um, early, you know, in New Zealand, and um, when the fur farming um, was become sort of unviable, a lot of them were just released in the wild. Okay. So that didn't. And help. they spread throughout the country as yeah, well. Yeah, they're in, throughout the country, but they, they stick to more the open sort of um, drier right. regions. But you'll find them. I mean, you'll you'll find them in the fringes around around Auckland. I've seen them um, yeah. down through Canterbury. Central Otago, that you know, okay. there's a lot of them down here. Pretty and widespread. Pretty widespread. Yeah. But um, I just oh, look, this is a cup of coffee. Don't <laughs> this this is an interesting specimen. This is a big cat. This came from Dave Hunter on Banks Peninsula, I think. Okay. And that I mean, like we all talk about cats being nice and cuddly, and you know, yeah. and a lot of them have got people have gotten as companion animal animals. But I would he doesn't look too cuddly. say that if you had that as a companion animal, you probably would be missing some fingers. <laughs> I mean, look at the teeth on it. Look at the size of it, yeah. and look at the look at the muscles and around the and the muscles at the back. He's a really they're, they're just a killing machine as well. And Old so, what machine. damage do they do on people's property? Um, they're mainly that the damage they do is to the native wildlife. To the native wildlife. Yeah, native yeah. wildlife. Yeah. So they can climb, and they can jump, and you know, eat. They're really damaging on bird life. Yeah. Really damaging. So, but that that's a huge cat. It is. And that's the sort of thing you get out. I mean, and um, I know that in Australia there's a lot of work done on feral cats and there's not as much work done in New Zealand, but yeah. um, people need to understand that this is the sort of cat we're looking at. It's not the little moggy yes. at home. Yeah. They, they can be damaged. Having said that, sometimes the moggy at home does get out and, and do damage and as well. And becomes feral. Well, you know, that even, they, even they like to hunt as well, yes. so yeah. you've still got to be careful. Yeah. And then, of course, we've got the possum on the end possum, here. Possum, yeah. And he's kind of cute. Well, he is kind of cute. <laughs> I think he, he's probably got an extra bit of um, padding, a little bit yeah. of fluff around here that he doesn't normally have. But um, they grow, they can grow up to about 6 kgs. Normally in the wild, they'll be around 2 to two to 4. Yeah. And, and possums are herbivores. Well, actually, uh, they'll eat anything, they? pretty much. They'll, okay. eat, they'll eat bird's eggs. Oh, do they? Yeah, okay. Yeah, no yep. problem at all. So... Um, so that they will, they will eat other things. They've been uh, filmed eating um, carcasses. Really? Yeah, pig okay. carcasses. Because so I know them from, say, the fruit trees or, mm, you know, biting yeah, off the nice yeah. shoots off your new plants yeah, that's right. and things yeah, like that. Most people tend to think of them as just, just um, as herbivores only, yeah. but they're not. They'll, okay. they'll, they'll have a go at other things as well. And, of course, these guys are just so destructive to the bush yeah. as well. So uh, And they carry TB. Yes. So, so there's not, not too much going for them. No. They, they're quite a cute, fluffy animal, but... Um, Unfortunately, they just do too many bad things. Yeah, for you don't want them around. Really. No, no, not really. And then I don't know if we have got to put this next specimen on the table. I mean, probably just best to look at it down here. I'll see if we can pick it up. This is a Bennett wallaby, and these guys are down in South Canterbury. Okay. And um, there's also another wallaby in the North Island called a Dharma wallaby up around the Bay of Plenty. Mm -hmm. And wallabies just they're, they're, they're herbivores, but they just 
if they get to high numbers, they'll just completely denude the, the landscape. Right. They'll just eat okay. it out, yeah, just eat the grass out. And um, again, they're quite an attractive animal. But uh, we've been doing work with wallabies, um, developing a humane um, cyanide bait, you know, the ferrotox okay. we talked about earlier. Yes. Yep. We've been developing it for wallaby, wallabies, and it's another one that's going to come into the registration okay. process soon. So, uh, is that just in the trial stage at the just, moment? Just in trial stages at the moment, yeah. Because um, they're increasing in numbers in South Canterbury and, and increasing in numbers in the Dharma up in uh, Bay of Plenty. So, yeah. another pest that needs to be uh, tackled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's our little collection of. Uh, yeah. Furry. They're going up you know, inside yeah, they there, are. Some yeah. Sort of yeah. Yeah. I still, if I think of all of them, uh, that would be the worst one I'd want to tackle. This They've got no fear. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they'll even attack um, people. Will they? Oh, you know, yeah. if, you, if you corner them, they'll they'll have a go at you. They, they like the sound of that. <laughs> you pick pick one up with a cage and it's got wire mesh on top. Yeah. They'll go, they'll, they'll go for your thumb. They, they, so you're quite vicious. Oh, they're vicious little yeah. animals. Yeah. But. The, Having said that, they're the ultimate sort of hunters, so yeah. you know they they, uh, they know what they're doing. And they yeah. sound are they, would they be the most widespread as well? Do you um, think? Yeah, yeah, probably would be throughout the country when you look at all the different habitats. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're everywhere. Yeah. yeah.